Welcome to the office. All right, talk about your hip. You were saying something about the hip. The hips have no discomfort. Okay. But it's what I see that troubles me. Whenever I, I put my, my feet together, mm -hmm. it looks like my left knee is... Behind. Is longer. No, the right is behind. I don't, I don't know if... Sorry, this one is behind, yes. Or Everything. this is further. I, I'm not sure how... Well, let's take a look and see. Let's put the heels. So we're putting his, matching his heels. Put your heels on the ground. Come forward. Okay. And what do we see here? Lefties. Gonstead actually talked about this, and this is due to pelvic misalignment. Okay. So we're gonna talk. We're gonna look at this on the X-rays. This is kind of cool. So if any of you guys want to guess what you think it is right off the bat, this leg is going. This knee is going forward. This knee goes forward. This is back. But the other. Sorry, I got to bring this up. The other interesting finding. This looks bigger than this. But this is bigger on the upper part. Correct, but this is bigger at the bottom. Yes, yes. What's up, dude? No, <laughs> yeah. So he got a great VMO. Look, his VMO is very developed here. VMO is very developed here. Not It's developed here too. But not so much. But it doesn't look the same here. I know. So this looks bigger. So we look at this muscle and this. Look at my hands. Now let's do the same thing here. He's right. This is bigger, vastus lateralis, I think. Lateralis is bigger, VMO is bigger here. Well, what's the nerve that controls all this stuff? I don't know. Mm, there's a couple of them. Okay. But quads are going to be L2, L3. Okay. T12 can go here. Okay, okay. L1. But we're looking at the more the mid lumbars. If we're, if we're talking about specific nerve okay. supply to the muscle. Okay. But we're going to go deeper than that, and okay. we're going to talk about the, the imbalance of all the muscle on that side because of the imbalance of In the, the pelvis. pelvis. Okay. 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 So, bigger here, bigger here. Smaller here, smaller yes. here. Yes, exactly. exactly. Okay. Continue on, sir. Ankles. I, I think that my left, surprisingly, has... Basically, my calf, I think, has less ability to contract. So, less dor uh, plantar flexion down or dorsi up? The, the motion is the same, I think, but, but the ability for the muscle to contract, I think the right contracts better than okay. the left. He's given us the answer already. What's the nerve that controls that? It comes from the sacrum, right? S1, S2. Okay. So, this is all we're starting to get some patterns now. Okay. okay. Is this all connected with it? Okay. It's all connected okay. to okay. your sacrum and your pelvis, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else going on? Everything else is just minor things and not, not considered problems. For example, my my grip on the left, I think it's the left is weaker. Are you sure? Not very sure. So let's say. Okay. Maybe it's perception. Squeeze with the right hand as hard as you can. Let go. 120. Squeeze with the right hand as hard as you can. Let go. And 110. Just a tiny bit. Okay. 110. But that was right. Let's try that again. Do it again. Okay. 110. <laughs> I was there. 115, sorry. And let's do that again. Let go. <coughs> 110, one, so it's a little bit off. So on the second go, 115, 110. On the first go, 120, 115. So about five pounds. Okay. That's going to be a good test for us later. All right. Shall that, we get... That's all uh, I, I can think of. Okay. Let's get started. And what we'll do is let's go over your x-rays. Costas, let's look and see what we have. Can't wait. After that, we're going to do your exam, figure out where we're going to start. Okay. After we're done with you, we have another guest here, don't we? Of course. All right. And then she's uh, she's up next. Hey, who are you? What? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Zoe. Zoe. She came with you? Yes. Of course. Wake right up. <laughs> All right, let's, look, let's go over your exercise. This is you, sir. This is a picture in time. Tells us how you've evolved from birth. This is looking at you from behind. This is the right side. This is the left side. This is your side profile. 
On the side profile, we are designed to have 60 degree reciprocating curves. First good news, your curve is good in your low back, decent here. Even in the mid, but what happens here is you have the reverse curve happening in the very top for some reason. And that's what we need to figure out, okay? Okay. Now let's zoom in. So this curve is good here, but then the question is why do we kink forward from there? That's what we need to figure that part out. And we're going to come to this x-ray in, in a lot more detail. We'll come back to this in a little okay. bit. Okay. Let's okay. go over here now. This is your 24-story building. In order to have stable building, we need a level base and foundation. And that's the first thing we need to assess. Let's look at your foundation and let's see what we see. Now, I'm saying there's some digestion stuff going on here. And your case is actually kind of interesting in regards to the digestion part because that is the best Megan Blasey we've ever seen in this office. Okay. At least that I, I can remember. Okay. But why is all this like this? So it's not that I'm going to give you anything for your digestion. I'm, go I'm hoping through the nerve, through okay. what we find, we should be able to help that. Okay. If I didn't see a Megan Blasey and I saw all this, I'd be a little more concerned. Okay. Okay. But again, I don't have that answer just yet. Okay. Not yet. Let's look at the foundation and let's take a look. So... What are some of the things we see here? We do see a tilted pelvis. We do, I actually see a little bit off on the pubic bone. You see how this is really, this is small, this is big. Okay. You see that? I see, I see. It's due to the alignment. So let's go over the numbers and I can explain it in a lot of detail. Now, what do the numbers tell us? We have a rotated sacrum on the left side that's dropped on the right. We have a rotated pelvis, and the listing of your pelvis tells us this was due to some sort of trauma. It okay. wasn't a postural thing. It was some sort of fall. Okay. Okay, and I'll explain it in, in a minute. And then we have a three millimeter short leg on the left side. Okay. Here's the thing. If I work on your hips, it's going to make that more. So whatever happened started in your tailbone. The hips came later later okay now follow my process here's why if i adjust your pelvis it makes it four but if we can get this up here it makes it back to two okay two millimeters is coming from here but, but again it's going to live one millimeter down there maybe one or two it does that doesn't matter regardless okay. Okay. as long as it's under seven millimeters adjustments will hold now i had a case where i try to bring it up but by trying to bring this case up, I should actually share the case. Uh, we using the heel lift. And by, by using the right amount of heel lift to level his base, he ended up cre getting more twisting in his pelvis, which made okay. him worse. Okay. So we found a happy medium where he'll have a little bit of an imbalance in the, okay. in the hips, which is totally fine for him, okay. but there's no rotation. Okay. Okay. Now, in your case, we have significant rotation of the pelvis, but I don't see that I want to start there. I want to get it up first. I okay. want to get that, that, that tailbone up. Okay. Then we can deal with the okay. pelvis. Okay. Okay? Okay. But I say that, and then it's whatever I find on you. I have so. something else I, I, forget, I forgot to tell you uh, before. My left leg has limited external rotation of the hip compared yes. to my right. Yes. It's, it's less. It's, it's obviously less. Agreed. Okay. And the question is, did you have some sort of bursitis or any hip injuries? Because when we're looking at the hips, I mean, we can see through the hips there, but there's a little bit of, this looks a little bit different from... From the, from the left. Yeah. So this area looks the, the the capsule or the labrum or something. You didn't have any labral tears or anything back in the day. I don't know. Me neither. Because do they produce pain? Some people will say yes. Some people will say no. I never had pain in my hip. Then, okay. So in your overall overall, what do we see? We have a tailbone issue. Okay. That's where we're going to start in your foundation. Okay. Once the tailbone issue is done, then uh, hopefully we can start on your L5 while you're here because the L5 is also causing this tilting, okay? Okay. Now, let's go to the full spine so I can show you. 
let's go back here. So we'll start on the foundation somewhere down here. It starts to tilt to the right. It compensates to the left. Now this is where the fun starts. Compensates to the left, but then it goes again to the right. And the neck is... Now follow my... You said if you sleep on your left side, correct? I don't have uh, stomach issues, yes. But when you sleep on your right side? I do, or, or on my back I also do. I don't know why the back is causing it. We need to find out, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see why, why, why sleeping on your right side could cause it. Sleeping on your right side, think of the high side of the rainbow here, okay? Do you see this? Yes. High side of the rainbow in any curvature should be face up. So if you sleep left side down, th down, this is the high side of the rainbow, everything is fine. When you sleep on your right side, it's pinching. Okay. The concavity, there's a concavity, so it's putting pressure on that part but it's also putting pressure in the upper cervical and you can see your capsule here compared to here. It's different. It's different. So the question is, is this smaller or is this swollen? That we'll find on the exam. You follow me so far? Absolutely. Okay. So we have an upper cervical potential. We have something going on in the upper back here because this kink, the question is this kink, T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you have a side slip at T6. And that's why it hurts when you go on your right side or you get reflux. Okay. So we have a T6 side slip. We have something in the top there. L5. Let's go on the side here. When we look at the tailbone, tailbone overall is decent. Overall is good. Okay. We've got a couple of nubs here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find something here around S3, S4. I'm pretty sure. Now, once that's done, like I said, once we figure, figure that out, we'll probably need to go to your L5. L5 is tilting a little bit. 4 is tilting. 3, 2. Comes back at 1. 1 is level. 12, 11. 10 starts to tilt again. These discs are all fantastic, by the way. Your discs are great. Okay. That's good. These discs are great. This is a little bit less than it should be L4. L5 is generally going to be smaller than the rest of the disc, but L4 seems to be wearing out a little bit faster, and probably because it's a co compensation. There's probably a lot of uh, more movement there. These discs are perfect. They're great. Looking at the neck, uh, C2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like I said, a lot of there's something going on that caused this little kink here, and we're going to see if... if we can change it through some postural habits, okay? Okay. Now, let's go to the flexion extension. Yep. Extension, they all go back. Flexion, they go forward. This one didn't move. That's the culprit. Two, three, four, five, six. Number seven, did it. you see it's still tilting back. It's okay. still stuck there. So we have a C7, we have a T6, and we have your foundation. Okay. That's what I see there. Okay, okay. Okay? Shall we get started, brother? Of course. Let's do it. And let's watch you walk. So we got the Greek boxer, huh? Walk to walk to the corner of the room and back a couple of times, a few times. And whatever your normal walk is, please. Good. You feel you sway, right, when you walk? Always. 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 So he kind of, he walks side to side when he walks, okay. And my balance is off some of the time. Walk on your toes, please, and keep going. Turn around, walk on your heels. He's not getting the right one is harder or left one is harder? On my heels. Not sure. Both. Keep walking. Again? Regu regular walking now. Slow. Yeah, so what's happening in his tailbone, he's not doing this. He's going this way. Side to side. Okay. Come over here and have a seat. Let's get started. Starting at the base of the neck. There we go. 
And the first thing we're going to get is the base, C6, C7. There it is. Then he's got a lot of heat up here, too. I'm going to bring it out. C1, C6, C7. this is going to change after his foundation. Cool. T6, left side, five points. There it is. S3, S4, down in the low, low. Cool. Let's do static palpation. There we go. Now, edema starts there, disappears right after there. Continues down, starts up again on the left side, but that's skin. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, there's your six. Yes? I'm okay. not sure. You're not sure. Now the problem is he's a boxer, so he's got a high pain threshold. That's the problem. So, I can't ask him what hurts. I have to go on objective findings. So, we're looking at instrumentation, edema, static, and motion palpation. Open and close your knees, please, with your feet touching. Open and close. Feet together. Knees open. Knees closed. Open and close. Good. Right side only, please. Open and close. When he does the right, the whole left is shifting. Left side only. When he does the left, the whole right is shifting. So it's the sacrum. It's the tailbone. Sit up straight, sir. Good. Back slowly towards me. Number five. One. Two. Three. That's where I'm finding it, right there. Okay. It hurts more on the left, I guess. Yes. It's more swollen here. Okay. Right there. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Six. S4. Sit back for me, please. Back. Let's check the neck. Motion palpation. Seven, six. What am I feeling for? As we flat, as we extend the head, we're going to feel those spinuses come back. As we flex, they open up. So we're looking for that flexion extension at each individual segment. That one's not moving right there. There we go. Seven. Seven is not moving. Six is moving. Seven is not moving. We have seven. We have one. We have to do divorce test now in the front. And let's go ahead and do divorce test. Divorce test is this, right? We're going to isolate extension and we're going to isolate the neck, upper and lower cervical. So when we look up, we're isolating the up, the lower cervical. And now we're going to turn left versus right. I have pain on the left under the ear, I think. And to the scapula? Mm. Or just in the neck? Right here. Got it. Okay. Now, that's the lower cervical. So we can justify C7. Look down, turn left. So right now, it's okay up top. No, no pain at all. So we're going to go with seven. Seven, six, S4. Sit up straight. I want to test your shoulder. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. 
shoulder range of motion. Let me test it. Yeah. Yeah. Not smooth. Come here, listen. Yeah, the other side. Well, this we already know from the clicking. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about the scapula. Okay. A subscapularis, muscle that controls underneath, the bursa, all of that comes from where? C5, C6, C7. Okay. Nerve supply. Okay. So we will test the mobility of the shoulder after the adjustment. Okay. I probably, for today, since you're here for a little bit, we're not going to work on the shoulder today. We're going to okay. start on the spine. Okay. Foundation, ankles, okay, okay. and jaw. Okay. That's where I'd like to start for today. And let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. You ready for me? I am. Let's do it. Sit back there, sir. So let's get some listings. Seven is a PLS. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> T6 is a PLS side slip. And PL sacrum on S4. Everything is on the left, I agree. Sit back there for me, scoot your butt back, sir. C7, PLS. We're hooking right underneath there. Chin back. Let's see if we can open it up together. I gotta open the front of that body. There it is. Open it up, drop it down, down. There you go, home run, baby. <sighs> Welcome to LA. Come on down, face down. Step on the black platform. Face down, madam, you can help and hold his legs, please. Thank you. My hands. Hands are going to go over here. Slide up a little bit, sir. Good. Now, what you're going to do, light, just fingertips. Just like that. Okay. Sit. Relax the shoulders down. Down, 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 down. S4, torquing up. You got him? the home run, baby. PLS side slip. We have to do this in two parts, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Part one, PLS side slip on the transverse process. That's part one. Part two, PLS on the spinous and bury it in. That's the home run, baby. Step away from the vehicle, sir. You feel what? A little pressure. Right down here. Do you see it? Walk. <laughs> look at his uh, look at his dimples. Look at Tell his me if you see the difference. So before he was going like this, now he's going up and down like this. Doo doo. Walk one more time please and we'll continue. Mm -hmm. I think I walk more straight. No. Back over here and have a seat. We're getting, we'll get there. 
All right, let's run the meter and see what we got. Neck is clear. Bring your shoulder, hand up, test your shoulder. My left. Yeah. I think it's... It's a little different. Still a little restricted, yes. but different. Hmm. Hmm. Sex is clear, neck is clear. Sacrum is clear. Scoot forward, sir. Scoop forward, forward, feet together, open and close the knees. Right side only, please. Left is fine now. Right, left side, right is fine. So both hips were stuck from the sacrum. Both hips are moving now. Go on your back, sir. On your back. Cool. Let's do the ankles. Raise your right leg up, left leg up, sit up and turn please. Now let me test out the shoulder. It's the same as the... What's that? I think it's the same with the right. Got scapula. Let's do the TMJ. I will start on your scapula. Okay. Sit back for me, please. Look up. Slowly open. Right side comes out first. Keep going. Okay, so we have that right AI. We're going to do the right side. Let's get the condyle block so we have something to stabilize the back of the neck. Doo -doo. Okay, open wide, open, open. Now, slowly start to close. Open. Slowly start to close. Let's go over here face down, please. Let's work on your scapula. Madame, you can come help me. Yes. You're gonna come on that side, go face down. We're gonna do a scapular adjustment. Take your hand out of the gown, please. Left hand behind your back. You're gonna come over here down on your knees, please, ma'am. Slide up, sir, slide up. And you're gonna catch like a catcher. One hand here, mm -hmm. like, okay. relax first. Catch, don't push. Okay. So I'm gonna be over here, it's all good. I'm gonna lock the piece of the high and low. Now, the scapula adjustment is not a true joint, it's a functional joint. There's a bursa that sits inside. And what's going on with him is the subscapular bursa has little, is inflamed. That's why it's not gliding smoothly. What I'm going to do here, we relax there, we're going to start to glide it this way. Deep breath in, blow it out fast. And you're going to catch. Mm -hmm. Relax here, please. Relax the elbow. Deep breath in and out. There you go. Hand forward, please. That's it. And let's check the rib. Deep breath in, blow it out fast. 
Try not to push me. Let it go down. Tummy down. Down, down, down. Gotcha. Home run, baby. Good job. As you're walking, a couple few times back and forth, first thing I can see, we can all see it. He got his groove back in his dimples. Yes. It feels different now. I think I'm, I'm going to keep a straight line when I walk. You're not dragging that right foot as much. Remember, we'll go back to the video. He's dragging both heels. You're not dragging as much now. It's there, but not as much. Walk on your toes should be easier now. Yes, it looks. Good. Turn around, walk on your heels should be easier now. Mm -hmm. Maybe harder on the, left, on the right. Maybe. Have a seat over here, please. And let's do the buff and polish. <clears throat> Good stuff, bro. Stand up, sir. Turn around, face me. Let's check the hands. Squeeze light. That's it. Squeeze. First here. Scaffold. Elbow. Lunate. Scaffold. Slowly open. Little different. I'll take it. Okay. That's where we're going to start, okay? Okay. Questions on anything I did today or found? No, I don't think I have any. Pop your clavicle a little bit. Keep going. Keep going. If you push, it will stop. Oh, okay. Go on your back. On my back? Then I push for you. <laughs> on your back. <laughs> on your back. I push for you. All the way back. There. SC joint. Sir, you can put it on or off your choice. Have a seat. Now let's get into the scar tissue of the subclavius. You okay with that? Yes. Now let's try this side here. It can get it a little deeper. Go ahead and try to click. I don't know. It's it's less. But it's So this is to break up scar tissue, okay? Squeeze. Okay. 
Those are just, that one's solid. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Welcome to the office. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.